Have you been called stubborn a lot in your life? Do you see yourself as being a stubborn person? How can being stubborn block you on your spiritual journey? Let's find out. Today, I really want you to ask yourself, am I truly a stubborn person? Right? And, and really take the time to see instances where other people saw you as being stubborn. Your boss, your wife, your boyfriend or girlfriend, your parents, right? um, your teachers. Did, did they, were you labeled stubborn throughout your entire life? and you just don't see it, right? You're just holding your ground. It's important for you to really go deep with this one because it's one of those aspects of ourselves that we don't see in ourselves. And because of that, we're projecting it out and other people are seeing it, right? And what they're projecting to you is a label, right? Or a judgment that they're judging you as stubborn and you're like, I'm not stubborn. You know, I just don't want to do it. If you've, if you've encountered that scenario, then my friend, you are stubborn. <laughs> and not saying that that's a bad thing, but it's something for you to be aware of. And it's something that I really did know about myself, right? In my past, I knew I was being stubborn. I, I called it just, you know, standing in my ground right just holding my truth right that's how we quantify this right on our spiritual journey i'm just standing in my truth when the actuality is that you're being very stubborn <laughs> and there's something there that's deeper that you need to go deeper within yourself to figure out and this one's a tough one because nobody wants to admit that they're stubborn right they, they want to see things you know, they want other people to see things as they do. But that's the trick about stubbornness, right? You're not seeing it within yourself. So it's coming out and projecting, projecting itself from you. And that's the vibration that people feel. That's why they label you stubborn. So it's not actually somebody else's opinion of you. Or not that somebody else wants you to do something that's against your will. It's you pinging it right back at you going, hey, dude, you're stubborn. You need to see that you're stubborn because this is blocking you from blah, blah, blah. Blocking you from that relationship you want. Blocking you from that job that you want. Blocking you from having money. Yes. There are so many things on our spiritual path that we really have to, you know, heal, right, within ourselves. And, and you know, we're told it's, it's from your childhood trauma. It's from relationship trauma, it's from past life trauma, it's from generational traumas, right? And yes, those are all real things. And yes, those are all things that are blocking you. But, and it's exhausting, isn't it? It's exhausting to, to hear all these things coming together and going, oh my goodness, how much more do I have to realize? How much more do I have to heal? But that's, that's the journey, right? It's about allowing these things to come to you so that you can see them and then choose to heal them as you see fit. Prioritize what you need to work on, right? Don't fall into the trap that I've fallen into recently is multitasking, where I'll see all these blocks, resistance, vulnerability, confidence, lack, stubbornness, resistance. And my mind goes into overdrive, going, oh my God, these things are blocking me. I better take care of them right now, right? And then I start working on them all at one time and I heal none of them. Sound familiar? <laughs> well, my latest and greatest one is stubbornness and really allowing myself to um, acknowledge my stubbornness. I can look back and I have looked back on many, many times in my life, 
many, many times in my life. I'm not ashamed to admit it. There's no shame in this. And, and I hope that you're getting this message too. There's no shaming in this. It's just, if you want to heal yourself, you have to bring the truth out, right? I am stubborn. <laughs> I am stubborn. It's even hard for me to say it, but I'm, I'm stubborn. And, and recently I, I recognized that again, right? It came crystal clear to me. And, and how do these things come to us, right? Because we get so stuck on people labeling us that, that you block that off, right? So that becomes another block. I'm not stubborn. Boom. You just double blocked yourself, right? Because it's not that person telling you you're stubborn, it's yourself. So first recognize and shift that. Somebody calling you stubborn isn't an insult to you and isn't them, them judging you. It's you judging yourself. So number one, find out why you're not allowing yourself to recognize your stubbornness, right? Because you have to recognize that it's there. You have to see it clearly. You have to go back and look at instances where you, in fact, were being stubborn because there was no other reason for you to hold, you know, hold your ground, right? That was a, the, the precept that you were saying, I got to hold my ground. I'm not being stubborn. When the fact is that you were being absolutely stubborn. <laughs> and in those instances, don't, don't, don't try to change what happened, right? Except those experiences, but then recognize them when they come again, because again, you're going to project that out again, and somebody's going to bounce it right back to you again. It's then that you need to say, hmm, am I holding my ground, or am I being stubborn right now? See the difference, right? Recognize that there's a difference. If you don't have time in that moment to stop yourself and go, okay, you know, why am I being stubborn about this? And try to process it, right? Look at the good and the bad, right? The second thing is to do, you gotta process. Once you see it clearly, process it. Why am I being stubborn about this situation? About what this person said? About where, what my job wants, expects from me, right? That I will not do. Is it being stubborn or, or is it really not in alignment for me, right? You need to, to, to see that fine line. When, when you're being presented with something, if it's really not in alignment with you and you need to hold your boundary, hold your boundary, but know that clearly and consciously that you're holding a boundary to not give your power away to somebody else or not to take something that's out of alignment with you or that's gonna drop you into a lower vibration, right? Those are important. You need to hold those boundaries, not angrily, but just hold them. Like, no, I I'm good. And somebody say, you're being stubborn? It's like, no, I'm not really being stubborn. This is my position and I respect myself to hold my position, right? Regardless of how you feel about it. And that's it, right? Not in a negative light, but you have to process it. You have to say, am I being stubborn? And then if you are say, wow, I am being stubborn. Let's, let's figure this out. What can I do to shift this right now? So that it's, it's not about those other people judging me, it's not about pleasing, doing something to please somebody else. It's about recognizing that me being stubborn right now is blocking something else from coming in. That, that awareness, which is three, aware, be aware that your stubbornness, once you, you know, perceive it and recognize it, you need to be aware of what that's costing you. Not, not saying everything has a price, but Forever, every cause there's an effect, right? So your stubbornness is the cause. What's the effect of that stubbornness? Did you prove yourself right? Did you say, ha, you know, I'm not gonna let that person get the best of me? That person is you. <laughs> so you're not letting you get the best of you. You see how that mirror uh, effect really bounces back and hits you right in the, in the face? <laughs> Once you become aware of it, you'll see that coming right back at you and you go, whoa, wait a minute, let me stop this before it goes any further, before it causes an effect that's going to affect me in a way that I don't want, right? It's going to bring a new experience in. It may stop you from getting that job because that person you were interviewing with just just saw that you were stubborn and how, how can they hire somebody that's going to be stubborn because later down the road, 
it's going to manifest itself again and it's going to become an issue for your employer right that's what they're thinking that's what they're seeing but that's what you're projecting to them so although you can say they're judging you they are because you're allowing them to judge you and you're giving them the reason to judge you so stubbornness is a big one it's a big block that, that most of us don't don't uh, don't recognize and don't take steps to heal so as much work as I do on myself and I'm constantly doing it and lately this big, the blocks are coming up even more because they've got nowhere else to hide I've said this in my previous video but I, I, I recognize that I'm stubborn and it came to me in a meditation or a dream and I recorded myself saying I'm stubborn <clears throat> and that that's the first step right it's admitting it number four admit that you're stubborn admit it I am stubborn and it's not in any one situation but sometimes when I go down you know sit down to create new material which I've been working on but I have so many things going on because I became the multitasker again which is an issue <clears throat> that I need to address readdress and then I'll sit down and be blocked from progressing right and I'm like well wait a minute you know I've now I've prioritized this is what I want to finish now I, I I'm blocked somewhere that was my stubbornness right my stubbornness with that video with that course that I'm creating with you know um, working on um, building my brand why haven't I done it yet I'm being stubborn about it because for me it comes in the, in the form of well, I don't have anything there. There's, there's nothing in my mind. You know, I'm not just going to sit there and stare in front of the computer. I'm being stubborn, blocking myself. That's a block. Instead of going, all right, this is what I'm going to schedule today, right? You need to plan your days sometimes. So today I'm going to work on this. I've been working on my Qigong video, uh, my course for Udemy.com, which I'm still, still a work in progress. But I decided to prioritize it over a couple of, of other things because I really want to get this done. I want to get it out. And, you know, last couple of days, I'd sit in front of my computer and just barely do anything. And go, ah, oh, I don't have it. It's not there. That was me being stubborn. And so, you know, just putting an excuse, right? I've got a mental block, you know, so me sitting here is not going to do, do me any good. When all I had to do was like, all right, lean back and relax, right? This is what I'm... I'm the fifth thing you should do when you discover you're stubborn. In that moment, if, you, if the answer's not coming to you right away, just lean back and relax. Take a deep breath. And if you have to get up and walk away from it for a few minutes, an hour, two hours, go get something to eat, just back out of the situation and then come back to it just clear say I'm just gonna sit here I'm gonna work on this right because when you allow yourself when you see those things very clearly your blocks and you step away from it all of a sudden that block is like oh no I've been discovered it has nowhere to hide it has nowhere to hide so in those moments when you just you don't have to sit there and talk to yourself and coach yourself that helps right or sit there and meditate and get ask your guides for help with this that helps as well but sometimes just getting up and getting out of the situation but with the intention of coming back to it that's where the difference is because if you allow yourself to be stubborn and walk away and start doing something else now stubbornness won because you're just saying, oh, I can't handle that right now. I can't do this right now. That's the time when you have to do it. And you have to see that stubbornness block and go, I'm being stubborn. Let me get out of my own head about it. Take a deep breath. Like I said, go get something to eat. Then come back to it. So that's what happened for me um, earlier today. I, um, 
I didn't have a real set plan for today, although I had a call this, this rising and I have a call this afternoon. In between, I was like, well, what's going to be the priority? And I sat down in front of my computer and immediately it was the Qigong video. And just as I started it, the old stubbornness, even though I heard it in my dreams last night, came back and said, well, this isn't done, and that's not done, and you can't do it unless you record this and that. And I started going down that rabbit hole again with the stubbornness. And I was like, wait a minute, there's, I'm being stubborn about this. I recorded a lot of stuff. Let me re-listen to some of the things as I'm piecing it together. And lo and behold, I came up upon one of the sections that I was working on, and I had already recorded the intro to that. And here I was thinking I had to re-record the intro, and I was like, I'm not going to do it. That was me being stubborn. So when I decided, no, I'm not going to let this block be here. I release you with love. Boom. I just went, took me a few minutes, a few minutes. And I was able to piece that whole section together. And I got a whole section done today. And I'm very proud of myself for, right? You need to, once you recognize these things and heal them, right? And get through the block. And you need to say, at a boy, good job, at a girl, I'm proud of myself. Look what I did. And when I did that today specifically, every day is going to be a different thing. But for this stubbornness piece today, when I stopped being stubborn, I automatically became a little bit more creative. Another solution came to something else. And this isn't, has, has nothing to do with my, my, um, my work. This is something that I was going to do for my uh, landlady here. You know, she has a wheelbarrow, the, the tire's flat, you know, and she wants it fixed, but inexpensively. So I, I, I went around town the other day and was trying to figure it out, and there wasn't a, a low-cost solution for her. And earlier today when we were talking, before she left and before I did some other things, I said, you know what, let me, let me try to MacGyver it with some duct tape and try to figure this out. And I said, I'll take a break this afternoon and I'll work on that. So that was in my, my thought process. So as soon as I finished with this Qigong section that I really wanted to get done, the solution came for the tire. So I took a break, I got myself a nice lunch, and then I took the tire and I went and did a few things, came back to the yard, and I, I used a fix a flat, right? Which I didn't think would work because this tire had a lot of cracks and crevices all over the place. And at first it wasn't working, but I was like, all right, no problem. I'm, she's okay with the wheelbarrow not working. She doesn't need it right now. So I'm gonna back away from this instead of being stubborn and trying to force it. I backed away from it for nearly just a few minutes and decided I'm just gonna put the tire back on and just put it up where it was. So as I'm putting the tire back on, I had it locked in the place. I said, let me try that one more time. And I did it. And I applied a little more pressure this time. Boom. She's got a fixed tire. Whether it's going to last forever or not, doesn't matter. It was done. Because I recognized my stubbornness and I walked away from it. I could have made it worse. And I didn't. And this is a very simple example, right? But you have tons of these coming at you daily, these little simple things that once you address them, stop being stubborn about them, solutions, creativity starts flowing. So that's how important recognizing your stubbornness is. Be in the moment with it. Heal it however you, you deem necessary. If you need help with that, I'm a spiritual transformation coach. As you see, I, I'm doing these things for myself, right? So I can definitely provide you with some solutions and some different perspectives on how to handle these things for yourself when they come up. And I use different things, mantras and meditations and all of these things together that help me in the moment. And it's my honor to share them with my clients, right? Because these things worked for me. 
And if you're in alignment with me and my messages, they should work for you as well, right? And they're proven methods. And I'd, it'd be my honor to work with you on, on those. So if you're and so inclined, there's a uh, link to my website. Give me a shout and let's, let's get together. Let's talk. Um, in fact, I, I did that for myself today. I hired myself a coach because I was being stubborn about asking for help. And I knew that that became a block. So today I made the decision to get a discovery session, which is what I do is a decompression session with this beautiful soul. And I aligned with him so much that I, I booked an appointment for this afternoon and I'm gonna work with him. And he's gonna work with me, right? That's, it's mutual. But I'm in alignment with it. And I didn't wait. And that phone call earlier today was just a baby step that I needed to give myself the confidence. Right? I'm not worried about lack, not worrying about money, not worrying about anything else. I'm worth the investment in myself, right? And the investment doesn't have to be dollars, right? In this case, it will be for me. In this case, if you come work with me, it will be for you. But just things that I did like I did today that didn't cost any money. I made an investment in that Qigong video course that I'm creating. I made a best, an investment in fixing that wheelbarrow tire. I invested myself in it. And I recognized when the blocks came in and I healed the blocks. You can do that too, and I strongly suggest it, um, especially with stubbornness. It's, it's one that, that we don't talk about much, and that, that, that's really blocking you from a lot of things. And it doesn't take much, it doesn't take much at all to recognize it and to heal it. Because once it's in your, in your awareness, it can't be a block anymore. That's how it works. So. Recognize that you're being stubborn and then when other people are are calling you stubborn, it's you projecting it back to yourself. Right? You have to become vulnerable that way. Not not be angry about it, not judge yourself for it, not judge other people for it. There's no blame here. It's just recognition. Recognize your stubbornness today and choose to make different choices in every now moment and watch your life change. <clears throat> this is one of the ways you can create the life that lights you up. So simple. Do it today, do it for yourself. And have an amazing day.